I've literally spent all day in my office talking to my students all around the world on how they did and um, thought I'd better come and get some fresh air and do some exercise with my dog Barney. As I keep saying in previous videos, really important to look after your brain and get some exercise. So I imagine your brains are quite frazzled having spent all day doing your SPL exam. Just to be clear, I haven't seen the exact exam paper, but I have talked to many, many students all around the world because it's taken at different times around the world. But let me review what the feedback I received on them. The exam was about a traditional toy company that was moving from traditional wooden block toys into electronic games. Um, so, yeah, something we can relate to. Uh, I've had multiple conversations and most people were really happy with what went on. As with all other SBL exams, it was a time pressured affair, but if you managed that time carefully and kept a strict budget, you should have done fine. It was actually the last four hour exam because from September, the exam format's gonna change. I'm not gonna talk about that now, but look out for future YouTube videos talking about what that means and how it's going to impact you. So getting back to comments and feedbacks from my students. The case was about a traditional toy company which was deciding to diversify into electronic online games and the questions were based around that big long scenario. Question one was asking you to evaluate the culture of the company and quite fortunate here that many of my students had done a very similar question in Mach 2 but the way to answer that would have been not to regurgitate lots of theory but to use a theoretical model maybe the cultural web to help structure and inspire give a catalyst to your answer so if you did that you would have done really well so don't forget in SBL we'll always be able to use frameworks but we should never actually reveal them in our exam answers and they're there to act as catalysts so you can structure a great answer. Part B of question one was asking you to comment on the leadership style and how appropriate it was for the diversification going forward. Again, students with a good understanding of the different leadership styles should have done really well here. What you shouldn't have done would have been regurgitate a load of leadership theory but you would be asked to take the information from the scenario, use your knowledge of leadership and synthesize it to comment whether the current leadership was appropriate or not. Question two. Question two was a question on value chain, which most of you will be familiar is a fairly traditional evaluation tool developed by Michael Porter. But again, you weren't asked to regurgitate it. You were asked to assess whether the current value chain was appropriate for the future proposed diversification. So you wouldn't have to use every bit of the value chain, but certainly would need to understand it and then apply it in the context of what was going on in the case. Again, very fortunate that my final mock had a very similar question on application of value chain. And if you know my mnemonic, I see Mr. Sean Purcell, he is a tosser. I'll say no more about that, but you can find it on other videos. I think you would have had a really good framework and, and it demonstrates how important when studying, we should be using pictures and mnemonics to aid our memory retention. So to do well in this question would require you not just to understand the value chain, but to use it to identify the most relevant parts of the value chain that were going to help and also talk about which parts were missing, which would be needed to affect appropriate change. For some, student, for some students, there was also a financial appraisal, but again, with SBL, you never have to work the numbers, you just have to use the numbers. And really, you were to look at an MPV, and from that MPV, you were to assess whether it was financially viable or not. Question three was on risk, and it was really a typical SBL question, where you were asked to identify the risk and then having identified the risks, talk about how you might mitigate those risks. So, you know, those people that have practiced lots of questions in the area of risk would have done really well here. Question four looked at big data analytics and it looked at the opportunities and threats that could come from it in the context of the case. Again, you needed to apply this. Students who did apply it in the context of how big data could help in the new future would have done really well. Those students just regurgitated 
the three V's, volume, velocity, and variety, wouldn't have done that well. Uh, so really important to apply. This question also required you to do it in the format of slides. So again, really important, recognize the format. And remember that on a slide question, most of the marks you're going to get are going to come from the notes to the slide. So really important to make clear linkage between the bullet point and the note to the slide. Sadly, some students were let down by technology. And just a reminder, really important to follow all the instructions the ACCA provide you with to make sure you do all the checks and make sure your technology is compatible because you don't want everything crashing on exam day. Hopefully those students who have been let down by technology can do the reset exam in a week or so's time, but really important to check your technology. If you were affected by anything else, please, can you communicate this directly to the ACCA? Go through the mitigating circumstances option. The ACCA want you to pass, they want you to do well, they're proud of their qualification and really want to help you. So please get in touch as soon as possible. There is a deadline, so you need to apply for that very, very soon. If you still have exams to take in September, my advice would be don't wait till the results. They don't come out for six weeks. Start studying that. Well, maybe take a break and then start studying again to keep the study habit going. If you are thinking of doing SBL in September, start my SBL course and your results don't go as well as you hoped from the June exam, I'll happily allow you to freeze your course and postpone it to the session of your choice. So get on with it would be my advice. Get the exams out of the way as soon as possible. If you need help, you know how to contact me. Just get in touch, WhatsApp me, email me, and I'll try and help you. Also, be assured the marking the ACCA does is really, really thorough. There's lots of checks and balances that are undertaken to make sure it's really accurate. And be assured that the mark you get is a true, actual mark. I really don't think it's worth appealing. Don't waste your time and money on that because all that you're going to get is an admin review. They're not going to remark it. It's marked electronically. It's impossible for things to be marked incorrectly electronically. Yeah, so all you have to do is dust yourself down if results don't go your way and just do the thing again and make sure you get it right next time. Anyway, you can probably hear my dog in the background, Barney. Very muddy, very wet, loves swimming in the river. He's really wanting me to play with him and go and do a run with him. Um, so. I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave it there. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know.